are able to insert record, we are able to take the data out, uh, we are able to delete the data in bulk, we are able to transfer data, we are able to update it. So almost every, whatever operation can be done on data, we are able to do everything right. Though mass transfer uh, is a little uh, on the lines of mass update only, but we have an easier way of doing mass transfer through this data management, what we did, right. So mass transfer is basically what, updating that field, the record owner field from one owner to the other owner, right. But yeah, they have created a separate uh, option for it or a different option for it, which we did, that mass transfer of uh, accounts or mass transfer of uh, contacts, right. For it. Now there is one small thing uh, which I will, need, I will want to talk about is the storage usage. So basically what happens with the storage usage, it is, uh, it gives you a complete summary, summary of your data storage, okay. So one thing that we have to understand is uh, when we take licenses from Salesforce based on which edition we select they give us uh, you know a limited space to store our data and the files okay now storage usage gives you a complete summary how much space you have how much you have occupied everything right and this is also something uh, you know uh, which is very important for you to keep a track on if you're just putting the data on your system now without realizing that how much space you are occupying for that then might not be the right thing for you to do so under data management, setup data management, there's an option called storage usage. You click on storage usage. We have an option of uh, viewing what all data we have. So firstly, it will give you the limit. So for the developer edition, they just give a 5 MB limit. And for file storage, they give a 20 MB limit. Okay, I mean, uh, there's a you know, question. We, uh, we have seen that Salesforce provides different editions, right? The contact manager and the professional and the enterprise and uh, the, one, the performance edition. So there are so many editions, all paid editions and that it uh, offers, right? Along with that, it also offers a developer edition. The one that you all have created, the login for developer edition, right? So now this developer edition is a free edition, which is free for lifetime. So if you come here and see there is no uh, uh, such notice that it is valid for 30 days or something. This edition is free for lifetime, the one that you have created, okay? And you see almost all the options are available here. In the developer edition, you have almost all the options available in Salesforce. So now the point is now, why would someone, uh, you know, go and buy a paid edition when developer edition is available for free? The companies or people can start using the developer edition for their business, right? If you are getting it for free and they are not charging anything on this, you can start, uh, you know, storing your company's data on this itself, right? Why would you go and buy a you know, paid license? The reason is this, they have, you know, they have uh, given us the developer edition which is free of cost, but the data storage limit is very less. It just allows you to store 5 MB data. Now, 5 MB is really, you know, very small space. You can store uh, close to 200 or 300 records. Uh, yeah, 300, 400 records you, will, you can store, but 300, 400 records is very, very small for any business, right? So for that reason, you cannot use it for practical uh, things. It's fine if we want to, you know, learn, if it's fine if you want to develop something and test with, you know, a few records, but we cannot use it for the business, right? So the limit that we have on our developer edition is 5 MB. I think one of you said that, uh, yeah, Shyam says that login user ID is just one. Yeah, uh, it's not one. There are two users which can be created on developer edition. 
there are two users which can be created. So one we already have created, we can create one more. Now that is also one reason, right? That you can just have maximum two users, not more than that. Okay, so storage usage, you see there is a data storage space and there is a file storage space. So file storage space basically uh, is the space where you can upload and save your files. Then we have, uh, you know, the count of all the records. So how much storage has been, you know, taken by which table, how much data you have. And it gives you count as well. It gives you the space as well as the count. So which of your tables is occupying maximum space, you can understand it from here, right? Based on that, if you want to make certain changes or if you want to archive some data, let's say you are, you know, nearing your limit. You are, uh, you know, about to reach the limit and uh, you realize that one of the tables, let's say opportunities is occupying 80% of the space. And most of those opportunities are, you know, opportunities which, uh, are of uh, opportunities of last year or the previous year. So what you can do is you can archive those opportunities. Maybe take out uh, an export and then just delete those from uh, the Salesforce. You can do that sort of thing. So if you find that the data is not that useful, uh, you can uh, archive that. So that sort of things you can do based on what you see here, right? So that's about our data storage usage. Clear on this? Tell me if we have any questions.